Hello everyone and we are live. We are live right now, so come on in. Hello everyone. How's everybody doing today? Hey Rick, how you doing? Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Five for Five. My name is Karen Glasser and this is just a five minute broadcast, so we're gonna be very, very quick. Hey Case, how you doing? Hey, hello everyone. Hi Nancy, hi Debbie. Welcome, today we're doing Five for Five and I'd like to invite you to invite your networks and the way you do that, if you're on an iPhone, just swipe away this way and invite your network. And if you're on an Android, you want to swipe up and down and it will say invite your network. I'd love to have your friends and your network involved with us today. So today we are talking about cool tools and equipment that you might want to use, hey Nancy, that you might want to use when you are using Periscope. I love the hearts, guys, keep them coming. All you have to do is hearts, tap on your phone, and the hearts come out. Great, so today we're going to talk about cool tools and equipment. The first thing that you might want to consider, and none of these things do you have to have, but you might want to consider a selfie stick. And I've got two different ones. Hi, Paul, how you doing? We've got two different selfie sticks. One is for the iPhone and one is for Android. Some of them will do both, but I happen to have two. Cool, Nicholas, awesome. And the reason why this is so great is that if you're out and about and you want to scope while you're walking down the street and your dogs are with you and you see beautiful scenery, you can literally put your, you know, your selfie stick out there and you can talk to your selfie stick. Great thing. Right now, the second tool that you might want to use is a tabletop um, tripod. And I'm using a tabletop tripod right now. I'm sitting in my kitchen. I have the tripod right here and I went and got an adapter which literally holds my phone. It's a phone clip. So that's tip number three. And you can screw it onto your tripod. You can put it on a big tripod, little tripod, whatever you want. And you can just turn it on and then you can be hands free. And if you're like me who talks with my hands, that's really, really good. Number three, and you might see on my shirt right here, I have something called the lavalier mic. And all I do is I click it into the sound, of uh, the uh, microphone jack, and you go ahead and put it on your top. And you, when you talk, the sound actually comes in to the phone so you not have extraneous noise. Now, why this might be uh, important to you is, again, if you're out and about and you're, and you're doing the scope, we call it the scope, when you have a lot of noise out there, your voice won't be heard. So make sure you get something like this, especially if you're gonna be in the noise. And we talked about the phone clip, we talked about the tabletop. I know some people that literally have a suction cup on the window of their car that has a clip. They put their phone right on the, the suction cup and then they talk to the, the, um, their phone as they're driving. Don't try this at home, it's probably not very safe but I know people that are doing that. And last but not least, you wanna make sure that you have a good internet connection. More specifically, this is a big drain on your data use on your phone. So when I do my scopes, I tend to do it in a place where there's Wi-Fi, so therefore it is not dragging on my data and it will just drag on my Wi-Fi, which I'm already paying for anyways. So those are the five tips for today. So number one, get yourself a selfie stick if you wanna be out and about. Number two, you might wanna get a tabletop or a suction cup for your window in your car or anywhere else. And number three, get a lavalier mic. Number four, you get a phone clip holder to put onto your tripod. Thanks, Case, appreciate all you guys that are sharing this out. And five, make sure that if you're gonna do this and don't wanna drag on your data on your phone, do this on Wi-Fi. So here's my call to action. We have absolutely free resources at Spark It Network. So go to sparkitnetwork.com forward slash Periscope. There is an absolutely free seven book ebook, seven page ebook, which will give you all the equipment information that I just shared with you today. It also is a how to, how to actually get your Periscope set up. And there's a really cool infographic that I hope that you will share with your network. Love you guys. Glad you can join me. And next week we'll be back on Tuesday, 2 o'clock p.m. every single Tuesday at 2 o'clock p.m. Pacific time for 545. Five. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.